Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everyone. Welcome into the live stream. Let's see who joins here. We're going to start off with a little sports update real quick, our Beyond the Scores segment. Jump through a bunch of topics real quick, and then we'll, uh, then we'll BS for a little while. And we have a big giveaway coming up. We'll do that later on. Later on in the chat. Hi, baseball card kid. All right, so first let, let's get through these, these, these news stories real quick that happened this week. Yeah, hashtag card crew. Matt M. How you doing, pal? All right, I'm going to get through these stories real quick, and then we're going to do a giveaway, and then we're going to break open some wicked wax here. All right, so I know um, a, lot, a lot of people know what's going on the, in the NBA this week with uh, Anthony Davis. A big story about his agent came out requesting a trade, and that uh, really didn't reflect good on him or his team, the Pelicans, so he got hit with a $50,000 fine, which kind of sounds like a lot, but he's making $25 million a year, so it's not really going to hurt him. Uh, it was initially reported that the Celtics were going to uh, express interest in him, but it now looks like the L.A. Lakers are the front runner. And, um, and well, that would make sense because it, they'd be able to make some room on the roster for uh, for Carmelo Anthony, who's, of course, LeBron James's pal, and uh, he's been reportedly wanting to play with him for a while, even though he's, he's you know, he's kind of washed up, but... R&B, how you doing, brother? <laughs> Bear with me, guys. It's kind of hard reading the chat while I'm going over the news stories, so I'm going to get these knocked out real quick. So, um... All these cards that you're going to see here are going to be part of the giveaway. So, uh, right here, we have a Carmelo Anthony SI Kids rookie from 2003. And this is when he was with the Syracuse Orangemen. And this is the Anthony Davis rookie card from 2013. Here you have a LeBron rookie. This is his rookie from 2003 when he played at St. Vincent Mary High School. And we're going to get to this Porzingis card in a minute here. So we'll see how that shakes out with the whole Anthony Davis trade. Uh, Christoph, Christoph's Porzingis was traded. As you're looking here at his 2016 rookie card. He was traded to the Dallas Mavericks, which came as a big surprise for a, for a lot of teams because they didn't know he was on the block. Um, and they really wanted to throw their hat in the ring to try to uh, acquire Porzingis. But the Mavs were successful and they swooped in and got him. I'm, I don't have any idea what the Knicks are doing. Um, are they, they rebuilding? Are they going to try to tank and get the number one pick, Zion Williamson? Or they did free up a lot of cap space, like $70 million. So, you know, maybe, maybe they're looking to sign two big free agents this soft season. So that remains to be seen. All right, now these four cards will be in the giveaway later in our stream. So keep that in mind. Our next story here is from the world of golf last couple of days. Uh, the final round is coming up in Phoenix down in, in, in Scottsdale, Arizona. The Phoenix Open where Ricky Fowler has really got it in gear. He's 20 under par leading the way with uh, four shots ahead of Matt Kuchar. And, my, and one of my favorite golfers, Bubba Watson, is not far behind. He's four, he's, I think he's in fifth place, six shots, I believe, off the lead. So um, I'm really interested to see how that shakes out this afternoon. Uh, this, this right here is uh, Ricky Fowler's 2016 rookie card, and this is Bubba's 2012 rookie card. These will both also be given. All these cards are going to go to one winner later in this stream here. Um, also, Justin Rose, the world number one, he had a quick exit. He went to play a tournament in the Middle East, but he didn't even make the cut in, in, out in Sa Saudi 
and the Saudi International on Friday. So he'll take a month off and regroup and get ready for Augusta. Um, okay, so those cards will be part of the giveaway. Uh, we have Brendan Boss, Wicked. All right, good. We're and my man Filmington stopping in. Thanks for checking in, brother. All right, real quick, skiing over the weekend um, in Slovenia. Michaela Schifrin, really killing it. She won her 13th World Cup victory, 56th overall in her young career. And um, right here, you're looking at a 2017 car to hers. Um, she's really, really just just taking this, this sport by storm. She's chasing down a lot of this young lady's uh, records, Lindsey Vaughn, who currently is probably the, the greatest women's American scare, at least, ever. And coincidentally, Vaughn over the weekend has announced her retirement. She will be racing her final race on February 10th. Um, she'll be uh, performing in the Super G Alpine in Sweden. So that will uh, take place next week. Of course, a lot of people know Lindsey Vaughn as uh, Tiger's. Tiger Woods' ex-girlfriend. So these cards will be a part of the break. This is Vaughn's 2009 card and Schifrin's 2017. And a couple more stories real quick. We're getting to Jeff Gordon over the weekend. NASCAR. Yes, NASCAR is a sport, whether you, <laughs> you want to acknowledge that or not. Um, he was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. He won four NASCAR Cup Series championships between the years of 95 and 2001. Here you're looking at his 1997 rookie card. Very nice card. All these cards are pretty nice. I mean, most of them go for between four, 10, 15 bucks on eBay. So this is going to be a nice little giveaway here. And then lastly, the last card we're going to give away here today in this lot of cards is going to be Usain Bolt. This is a track and field star. Now this was the, for me, this was the craziest story over the weekend. Um, it, it, in, the, in the Super Bowl experience on Saturday, Usain Bolt, now we know he's, he's had just, he holds every sprinting record known to man, but he, he just casually tied the NFL scouting combine's 40 yard dash record with a time of 4.22, which was just crazy. He didn't even train for the event. Uh, he was wearing sweatpants and sneakers and he came out and he just blazed. He tied, uh, I believe it was the Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver, John Ross's record from a couple years back. So uh, you will be getting this Usain Bolt, the winner of this giveaway. This is uh, uh, Usain Bolt's rookie from 2008. All right, so all 10 of these cards are going to be in the giveaway. As I'm doing my first official giveaway for the card crew, hashtag card crew which I was lucky enough to join yesterday. The, the boys accepted me into the card crew, and I'm just going to give them a quick shout-out real quick, and then um, we're going to get started on a break of some Wicked Wax. So this is uh, Cleveland Card Connection, Big K's Cards and Collectibles, Wicked Discounts, Lone Star Legends Cards, Matt M. Baseball Cards, John Sports Cards, Jerry Cockrum, Shane Duga, and Laurie Mommett. Go check all them out if you have not done so already. And um, all right, that ends it for our new segment. So I'm going to archive this so anyone that uh, wants to tune out now, go right ahead. And we're just going to do some BSing right now as I open some Wicked Wax. Thank you, Brendan, on the congrats. Appreciate that, brother. Really happy to join the fellas. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, did you see that R&B? You seen but that was definitely the sports story of the weekend for me when um, when he ran, he just casually walked on there and, and just ran a four point two. It was just just crazy stuff. Imagine him being a wideout. Uh, I think a lot of teams uh, would would like to have him uh, running down the field. All right, I'm going to open one of these. I ordered two of these packages uh, from Derek Wicked Wax. I mean, it's a great buy. Ten bucks, and you get all these wax packs. Um, from Wicked discounts. If you haven't checked him out yet, you'll want to do so. Um, I mean, it's just loaded. And for ten bucks, I mean, you really can't beat it. This is a Series 1 um, edition. Let me. He has a paper here that came along with it. I'll let you know real quick what it includes. 
Um, he says uh, what you get, uh, you're, you're getting eight vintage packs from 80 through 98. Uh, one in five of these packages that goes out uh, will contain a hit. Uh, hits being rookies and autographs, number cards, and relics. Um, one in ten will have a chance at Wicked's Wheel of Winning, which is uh, you could win uh, one Wicked Wax Box, one team in a weekly box break, uh, a throwback Thursday box that he breaks live, and he'll send all the cards um, for that team, uh, one unopened sealed hobby box, and one pharmacy box. So not only do you get the packs, um, which is a great buy in and of itself, but you get a chance at winning um, a lot of additional uh, goodies. And also, with every purchase, you get an entry into his uh, his Follow the Flip giveaway, which if you haven't watched, check out. It's pretty cool. Where they start out with a low-value card and keep, keep um, going up and up and up from there. So it'll be interesting to see what some of these guys wind up with what are you guys doing are you do, are you shooting for a one year's time see what cards you get within one year Derek is that how is that how it's working oh uh, Joe iPhone pulled the Mac rookie that's nice real nice yes one year okay that's what I thought so that'll be interesting to see uh, what um, coach K winds up with after a year uh, Derek, is that's going to be real interesting to watch. All right, I'm going to get these 10 cards out of the way here. Um, again, uh, after I open these Wicked Wax, I'm going to do a drawing. Actually, it's not going to be a drawing. I'm going to ask for a number between 1 and 1,000, and I already have that number written down here. So the person that comes closest to that number simply is going to get all these cards. There's 10 cards here, and I'm going to also include 10 cards from your favorite sport so it'll be 20 cards because i know a lot of you aren't into golf or nascar or track and field so i'll also include 10 cards from your from your favorite sport all right i'm going to start cracking this wax here and i'll try to keep an eye on the feed uh, bear in mind guys i'm still new at this so it's hard i may get a little distracted as i'm opening up the wax and uh, uh reading the feed as well now I'm not taking the I'm not taking the numbers right now, guys. I'm gonna wait till after the wax, and then I'm gonna take all the numbers and write them down. Mike Line TV TV, appreciate you joining in, brother. Anthony Hockey, how you doing? All right, so I'm gonna open these packs and then I'm gonna ask everyone uh, to give a number to throw your hat in the ring. Oh, I have two people gave me a like. Anyone else uh, kind enough to give me a like? I'd appreciate that. <laughs> All right, I have the first pack here is going to be 1992 Upper Deck. Now, I, meant much of this product I haven't opened in years. Man, I'm talking many years, so I don't even think I remember what a lot of these cards even look like. Card Dreamer, Jeremy, how you doing, man? I loved your video yesterday, your spaghetti eating video. I got something really good lined up for uh, the Ricky Russo hot dog. Yeah, I got to eat a weenie. So, I think I have something pretty entertaining lined up, so we'll see how that shakes out. If any of you are not familiar, um, well, I know everyone's familiar, familiar with Ricky Russo, but he's running a, like a battle royale where 50 YouTubers are performing a stunt, and there will be, I guess, knockout rounds, and um, YouTubers will advance. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, for the first, what we got here, we got 92 Upper Deck. We got a Mark Carrion, came up with the Mets. It's a pretty highly touted prospect, but never really did a whole lot. Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike I, you did your hot dog one yesterday? Um, I definitely have to check that out. I believe Jeremy messaged me that um, Snoop did his as well, so I have to check that out, see, see what kind of competition I'm up against here. <laughs> All right, Eddie Murray. You know what? I think I, for, I forgot Eddie Murray wound up his career with the Mets. That's an interesting card right there. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Kirk McCaskill. Loved him with the Angels. A lot of you know I was a big Angels fan as a kid. Doug Jones, a reliever who bounced around forever but did pick up a ton of saves. Tim Belcher, former number one draft pick. Um... For, was it the Oakland A's or the Dodgers that drafted him? I can't quite remember. Big Cat, Andres Galarraga. 
All right, R and Bass, thank, thanks for checking in, my man. Uh, Mariano Duncan. Okay, Wicked, I got you, brother. Jack Clark. Carlos Quintana. Joey Cora. Of course, now the manager of the Boston Red Sox. Jose Okendo. Charlie Liebrandt. Todd Zeal checklist card. Scott Erickson checklist card. Shout out to Drew Erickson, winner of the inaugural um, card crew giveaway. And a Billy Hatcher here. All right, so that was the first pack here. What's the next one we have here? 1988 Tops Mini. I don't think I've ever opened these before. Recall seeing several of these, but I never opened any of these. Yeah, I really do like upper deck cards a lot. I wish uh, Tops would um, uh, they'd get back into the baseball game and really uh, compete with Tops because um, uh, upper deck they have some great quality cards. All right, we have a Danny Tartable here, Lenny Dykstra, Kent Herbeck, John Crook. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Zane Smith, and the Cobra, Dave Parker. <laughs> really cool mini cards. I think a lot of people did not like these because they just they just didn't fit in their, you know, their top loaders or their nine sheet pages they have. Same same goes for the big card, which is why I don't think they took off. And why I think 1989 um, Bowman was the only year they did the oversized card. Jack Frost, how you doing, my man? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, the next, uh, we have 1989 Tops. 1989 Tops. This was really like the last year I really uh, bought a lot of cards um, when I was in high school. Oh, and I am not, don't, before anybody asks, no, I'm not, I'm not eating the gum. I'll leave that to, uh, Coach K and his boys. <laughs> I remember in the one video they did that. That was uh, quite entertaining. Uh, okay, we have a Randy Kramer, Greg Gagne, shortstop on that uh, 1987 World Champion Twins team, Fred Tolliver, Mike Fitzgerald, a Braves team card, Terry Blocker. Have to uh, be straight with you guys. I do not remember Terry Blocker one bit. Tom Browning, Henry Cotto. No, 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 Jack. I'm not. I, I might have to cut this live stream early if I attempt that gum. I don't want to uh, break any teeth, or uh, I might have to go drink a gallon of water. Uh, Ricky Henderson, really nice card. Really nice card. Well centered too. Very nice card. Hubie Brooks. <laughs> Russo checking in. <laughs> How you doing, my man? Uh, your sister's ace. Uh, Mike Scott loved that. Just absolutely <laughs> love Russo. My stepfather, he's 100% he's Italian. He always says that phrase, too. So whenever Russo hits hits us with that, I always, uh, always get a kick out of that. Scott Fletcher and Dickie Thon. All right, that does it for the 89 Tops. 87 tops. Wow, I got up to 15 people in here. The gum. This is the second week in a row I've done a Sunday morning. I figure it's a good time. I don't see a lot of other people going live on a Sunday morning, so I figure it's a good time to spend a half hour, 45 minutes uh, BSing with you guys. Uh, Greg Gagne, back to pack, back to backpacks with a Greg Gagne. This is of course '87 tops. I'm looking for a Barry Bonds, a Mark McGuire, uh, a Wally Joyner, my favorite player. Tons of tons of good rookies in this year. Uh, Bill Doran, 
Hal Lanier, manager card. Dusty Baker, player card, of course, went on to be a longtime manager. Oh, Matt M., without a doubt, my favorite 80s design, and actually all-time design, is the 83 tops. Love the 83 tops with the inset photo and then the, in the large in-action picture. Love the 83 tops. And that was the first year I was really into I, buying a whole bunch of packs. I believe the first packs my brother and I got were, were 1980. But 83, and I was like 9, 10 years old, that's the first year I went down to my corner Wawa, which if you're from the Northeast, you know uh, Wawa is, or at least the Delaware Valley area, and bought a lot of 83 tops that year, which was a great year to buy because you had the Gwyn and the, the Sandberg and the Boggs. How about you guys? What's some of your favorite years? Brandon Boss likes the 87. Yeah, this is a, a classic design with the wood frame. 84, nice too, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Tim Raines. Rock Raines. Nice Hall of Famer. Ozzy Gillian. Jerry Naren, catcher with the Angels. Gino Petrelli, catcher with the Rangers. They're <laughs> still printing 87 tops. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, I'd be surprised if uh, a lot of the late 80s was <laughs> still being printed. There's so many millions and millions out there. Uh, Jeff Russell, Mike Heath, Tracy Jones. He was supposed to be a really uh, five-tool outfielder, but never panned out with Tracy Jones. Shane Raleigh. Corey Snyder. He came up like a ball of fire for the Indians, but kind of didn't pan out. A lot of people remember him for his 85 Tops card, uh, the USA card, like the McGuire. I'm surprised no one said the 85 uh, set. It was one of their favorite sets from the, 80, from the 80s. Uh, Domingo Ramos, Dwayne Ward, Blue Jays leader, Dave Winfield. I'm going to try to get through these a little quicker than what I have been. I know uh, I'd like to get to this giveaway before I lose any of you guys. Oh, <laughs> and uh, what did I say before? There was one in four packs had a wicked hit. Is that one in five boxes have a wicked hit? Well, guess what? I got one in five right here. That's pretty freaking awesome. What's not so awesome is me not being able to get it open. There we go. A wicked hit. Oh, right. A Dustin Fowler rookie card. This is a... Uh, is this a... Oh, yes. All right. Top's chrome. Okay. I thought it was. It had a little extra shine on it. Uh, he, he's a really good prospect. Uh, the Yankees pretty much only traded him away because they... You know, the Yankees are the Yankees and have a really crowded outfield, but Dustin Fowler has some really nice potential, so I'm very happy with this card. Awesome, awesome wicked hit there. Okay, we have a 1981 Coca-Cola Tops. I cannot say I've ever opened any of this. So this will be interesting to say, obviously, with the 1981 Tops style, just with the Coca-Cola logo. Thanks for stopping in, Ricky. We got a Jim Morrison here. A Rich Dotson. Okay, so it's a team. They give him out his teams. Okay, Lamar Johnson. That was really interesting. I've never, never ever saw these Coke cards before. Okay, moving on. We have 1988 Tops. Jim Morrison singer of the doors. Yeah, that was his second career. <laughs> Some more gum. I wonder if I give that to my daughter if she'll eat it. I shouldn't say that. That's not very nice. But it would be entertaining, especially if I could get that on video. All right. Um, 88 Tops. Al Newman. Eddie Whitson. Les Lancaster. Rick Leach. Mike Henneman. Wade Boggs All-Star Card. God, I loved loved watching him pepper the pepper the green monster back in the day. Dennis Oil Can Boyd, uh, his nickname really a lot of people know him more for his nickname Oil Can Boyd than uh, Dennis Boyd. One of my favorite nicknames of all time. 
Uh, any uh, you other guys got a favorite nickname? I'm trying to think right now. I, I, someone mentioned to me uh, in one of my recent videos, I forgot Albert Pujols was called The Machine. Love that nickname too, because how, how fitting was that? He really was The Machine. <laughs> Both ate it, yeah. Uh, Bill Picota, Eric Nolte, Chili Davis, Jose Nunez, Jim Gott, Mike Moore, another Zane Smith. I might have to start a Zane Smith piece save, my second Zane Smith here today. If I'm not mistaken, his rookie was... I could be wrong. 1981 Tops Pirates uh, Future Stars card. That's just off the top of my head. I'm not positive about that. All right. Uh, maybe Matt M would know. Matt M is a baseball card guru. Is that Zane Smith's rookie card, the 1981 Pittsburgh Pirates Future Stars card, Matt? All right. Uh, we have Don Russ here. Not quite sure of the year. I won't know that until I open it. That looks like 91. Yeah, 91 Don Russ. All right, Melito Perez. Ken Overkvel. Juan Berenguer. Luis Rivera. Mark McGuire highlights card. A lot of big uh, Mark McGuire collectors out there. Love all their um, PC. Looking at those PCs, Storm Davis, Kevin Reimer, Chris Hoyles, Mel Stottlemyre, the Kid, Gary Carter, Donnie Hill, Rags, Dave Rigetti. Began his career as a starter, but really, obviously, most of the success he had was as a Closer for the Yankees. Became a pretty good pitching coach for many years for the Giants, too. Matt Noakes, Tom Candiotti, and Bob Patterson. All right, we got one more pack here, and then we're going to do the giveaway. And then we're going to get out of here. So uh, we can all get ready for our Super Bowl parties and whatnot. Last pack's going to be 1991 score. Oh, the thing I liked about Score is they always had a, a picture on the back of the card as well as the front of the card, and I really thought they had some pretty good photography. Um, <laughs> they just really just never took off. Uh, Todd Burns, Sean Bosky, Dave Hollins, Kent Merker, Jeff Manto, Chris Hoyles. Brian McRae, a lot of prospect cards in here. Jim Vatcher, Rafael Ramirez, older brother of Pedro, Ramon Martinez, Brian Holman, Bobby Figpen, who set the single season saves record. He's really a stud reliever for a few years there. World Series trivia card. Mike Jeffcoat. Walt Weiss, Tim Burke, and the Craig Lefferts. All right, it's giveaway time, fellas. So, again, for these 10 cards, uh, you got we have a Usain Bolt rookie card, a Jeff Gordon rookie card, Michaela Schifrin, Lindsey Vaughn, Bubba Watson, Ricky Fowler, watch him this afternoon as he looks to wrap up the Phoenix Open. Cannot wait for the Masters in a couple months. That really uh, is the beginning of spring, spring for me. Kristaps Porzingis, LeBron James rookie card from 2003 high school. Anthony Davis and a Carmelo, Mar uh, Car Carmelo, Mar <laughs> Carmelo Anthony rookie card. All right, gentlemen, I need anyone who wants this lot of cards and 10 cards of any sport of your choosing to give me a number between 1 and 1,000. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them down and then I'll run them back at you real quick. 
Okay, so I got Mike Line. Five. I got Joe Mansman. Got Wicked. Two. Mark from KY, thanks for checking in, my man. 55. Boss 140. C&C &C at 887. Drew, you gave me two numbers. I need you to, I'm going to take your first one, Drew, which was 22. Um, let's see. Pete Miller, I got it 567. D's cards, 213. Uh, let's see here. My, Matt M going right down the middle. Okay, who'd I miss? Baseball card kid, are you? Baseball card kid, are you in? Yes, you are, 145. And I got Logan at 150. All right. Let me run down these real quick, and then uh, we will reveal the number and our winner. I'm going to need your guys' help here with the math to, uh, to help me out, figure out who, who we got the winner here. I got Logan at 150. I got Baseball Card Kid at 145. I got Mike Line TV at 515. I got Joe at 886. I got Wicked at 699. I got Drew at, 20, two, at 22. Now, Drew, you gave me a few numbers. Do you want to change that, or are we sticking with 22? I got Mark from Kentucky at 555. I got Brendan Boss at 140. I got Cards and Collectibles at 887. I got Pete Miller at 567. I got Dee's Cards at 213. And I got Matt M at 500. Uh, okay, Drew, you, your number is 222. All right. Uh, okay, I missed Sick Wicked at 312. Sick Wicked at 312. All right, Derek. I'll catch you later, brother. All right, so there, uh, those are our entries for these 20 cards, 10 cards here, and 10 more of a sport of your choice. So the number that I wrote down before the stream started is 247. 247. So come on, guys. Give me a hand here. Who is, who's our winner here? Um, two. <laughs> Believe it or not, it looks like Drew is our winner. <laughs> it is Drew's week. He just won the, the giveaway from the card crew, and now it looks like Drew's getting another package coming his way. Drew, I got to take you to the casino next time I go, man. You are on fire, brother. <laughs> All right, great job, Drew. <laughs> yeah, best week ever for sure. All right, Drew, I actually already have your um, shipping address and uh, information, because um, I sent you that package last month. So, so uh, well, that kind of makes it e a little easier for me. Uh, Drew, what, what, what sport do you want the additional 10 cards from? Yeah, how about we get Drew that one more sub? We need, Drew, we need to get Drew to 100 subs here. What, uh, what sport would you like the additional 100, uh, the additional 10 cards, Drew? Tw uh, baseball. Okay, all right, so you will get these 10 cards, and I will, uh, I will dig you out 10 baseball cards as well. I'll try to get some twins in there for you, brother. Archery. Filmington, you know, don't bust my stones, pal. <laughs> I do have some archery cards. I have a Justin Hoosh, if you'd like to see that. Yeah, you know I'm not BS, and I got a Justin Hoosh archery card. Maybe in my next video I'll send it. I'll, I'll show you that, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Airtime cars doesn't mess around. He covers all the sports. <laughs> Uh, if if, uh, if you guys didn't know, I announced this uh, last week on my stream. My man Filmington and I are going to be doing a uh, uh, we're going to be doing two live streams, one on his channel and one on my channel, where we're we're going to um, we're going to cover the or we're going to preview the upcoming Major League Baseball season uh, um, in in fantasy baseball. We're both uh, rotisserie fantasy baseball geeks, so we're going to go over and we'll we'll mix in some cards as well too. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. We just got to hammer out the details on, on, uh, on that. Cowboys. Uh, the giveaway was these 10 SI Sports Illustrated uh, rookie cards of various athletes and then 10 cards of a, a sport uh, chosen by the winner, and that was Drew, and he chose 10 baseball cards, so he's going to be getting 10 of those. All right, Card Dreamer, thanks for checking in, my man. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this stream and uh, Beyond the Scores update. I hope everyone really enjoys the, uh, the big game this afternoon, this evening. Uh, it starts at, let's, I think it starts at 6.30, so runs kind of late. So, uh, all right, everyone, enjoy the, the big game today and the golf this afternoon, and uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks everybody for joining in. Drew, we'll get that we'll get that package out soon, my man.